today we'll be making our way through the hole. Bit of movement on the southern side. It's actually a lot calmer this afternoon compared to what it was this morning. Definitely a bit more movement out here. We definitely picked a better part of the day to come out and enjoy the bay. They're going to spin the boat around so you get a photo of the hole in the rock from all parts of the vessel. I'll just going to spin to my right so you get a hole in the rock photo from the south. So you're probably wondering how the whole rock is formed. Well, it's all done by guess, really. But the island is made up of a rock called Jurassic Greywacking. It's a very hard and very brittle rock, and really susceptible to bolting and cracking over time. So all the whole rock is, it's just a big giant fault line. You can see the fault line that runs up this side of the hole, all the way to the top. So hundreds of thousands, millions of years ago, we had a lot of erosion happening out here, and then forged away this big hole in the rock that we have here today. Leaving this thing that we can drive through on a good day. So that's good.
So maybe in another couple hundred thousand years time we can come back and do these twin hole in the rock too. Now the legend has it that the sea god Tangaroa, Tangaroa lives in the base of this cave. If you were to enter on a day where he's not happy, because the swell is coming from the north, well he can expel you from this cave before you even think about exiting. I'll get us a little bit closer, but I'll put the microphone down for a small moment and let you enjoy the sea cave here in front of us. Lighthouse. 
back on the ship today. This is one of those pressurized kerosene lamps. Man labor to keep it operating. Has it needed refueling every 15 minutes. So in the earlier days, there were in fact three lighthouse keepers out here. They somehow managed to pull their wives into moving out here with them. And between the three families, they had three houses and even a school and some other little shacks around the area. So they managed to raise those 15 children and the three families down here. And they, uh, they were quite a self sufficient fun flipping off the land. Love you, get you guys, and this is a little out here. Supply vessels will come out every few weeks if they need it. They close toilet paper. They wouldn't be too hard to come across. Now around uh, 1976, is when this lighthouse turned automated. They no longer needed a lighthouse keeper. The tower itself no longer admits any light. It now admits to a small similar structure at the left hand side of the tower, which lies 26 nautical miles out the sea, and every 20 seconds still that is charged by solar and those of batteries, and it's all automated. In 1976, all the lighthouse keepers left. The next place to turn to ruins, too. Fund the conservation took over the maintenance of the tower and the last remaining house. And you can actually stay here. It's only $15 a night. With that $15 a night, you get a gas cooker, gas for that cooker, a bed bucket. You'd probably be sharing it with 22 other people as that uh, capacity on the hut. No power, no Wi-Fi, so some of you wouldn't survive out here for more than a couple of hours. Another interesting fact, guys, a six to eight hour walk to get out here. But not for the faint hearted, that's for sure. You can get dropped off at the landing here on a good day, but you have to pick and choose your days. Otherwise, you might make up the next morning and there's too much time to be picked up. So that means you'll be on the YY Express all the way back home. That's the Cape Red Lighthouse team for the last remaining Lighthouse House. A uh, beautiful bit of accommodation here in the bay, the cheapest accommodation. Uh, probably the one that's best. Anyhow, we're going to start following our coastlines back into the inner island. Should be a bit uh, comfortable on the way back as we're going with the swell. So it wouldn't be too much to worry about here. It's still a bit of movement, but I can tell you I've been out about five times during the list, so it's a uh, good day. Anyhow, team. Picking up a little bit of speed. Next stop, Port Tahita.
constant change.
we are back at play here with most of us starting our journey for today. We'll talk alongside all for a short moment. If you're free to disembark the vessel and enjoy being back on the mainland coast, enjoy some of the or drink, or travelling along our coastlines. Be safe on the roads out there and enjoy the rest of your travels. And of course, we do hope to see you again soon. Hopefully in the near future.